when I spoke to Helen, she left her phone on loud. So it just beeped every three or four seconds. It was just beeping, beeping. It's very um, actually annoying to be near Helen with her phone because of that. Yeah, is that right? So it wasn't just me. I kept thinking, oh God, it's it had gotten past the point where I could say to her, do you mind turning it off? It had already been like 15 minutes. I thought, oh, I'm just going to leave it. And quite a few people commented afterwards like, oh, ask your guests to turn their phones off, will you? For what it's worth, uh, I have set my phone to silent. The only sound it makes is the alarm clock in the morning. Literally no other sound. Even that, you could get one of those watches that vibrates to wake you up in the morning. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm not wearing a watch. No. Do you not wear watches? Oh my God. And you're a mathematician. Yeah, but they're white supremacy. Is that right? Yeah, it's a thing. What do you mean? No, it's a thing. I actually had to go trace it because I said this a few times and I made one of those woke minis as a joke saying that white supremacy now includes wearing a wristwatch among several other things. And we could list tons of things, loyalty, responsibility, punctuality, reliability, (laughs) uh, civility, You know, we can just go down the list of things that are also white supremacy culture, epistemic adequacy, knowing what you're talking about, science, reason, rationality, two plus two equals four, apparently. Right. Um, Yeah. Logic. All of these things are white supremacy. But I said wristwatch. And what had happened, this is very interesting because we we almost put it in cynical theories, but we didn't because we couldn't find the citation. It's like, I don't make this stuff up. I had read somewhere that wristwatches were taken as a sign of white supremacy and it had something to do with the idea that people would have to keep time and keep to a schedule, punctuality, is definitely a feature of white supremacy. Is something we keep hearing people say. That's not the reason you don't wear one, though, is it? No, I just don't like how they feel. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Tell me, this is so this should be the easiest question a mathematician could ever face. So what is 2 plus 2? Uh, it's the addition of two very small positive integers. It, it, there's nothing really mysterious to 2 plus 2. And what's, and what's the answer? Uh, four, um, as it turns out. Uh, I mean, it's been a number of things. Uh, of course, most famously, maybe it was in, in Orwell's 1984. Mm. Um, okay, so I'll tell you the story of how this happened. It is my fault, actually. And I think I can, act, I can genuinely claim blame for the 2 plus 2 equals 5 month-long nonsense on, on Twitter.com basically a graphic design person reached out to me and thought it'd be fun to make these kind of cute little posters. She wanted to call them woke minis. We talked it over. I thought it was fun and funny. We started to make them, you know, so the idea would be like some little quip Mm. satirical definition of how the woke think about an idea. One of them, what I think I made was something like white privilege is what all white homeless people have that makes them richer than Oprah. And so this woman's emailing or DMing me on Twitter and she's saying, I'm trying to understand how they think. What would they say about two plus two equals four? Would they just say that it's five? What would they say it's three? It's a very good example of how they think. What they would say is that two plus two equals, it doesn't matter. But to claim four would be a hegemonic discourse. And so we should be very skeptical of that hegemonic discourse. And they would say that that was arrived at by a political process and that therefore we have to ask who it benefits to say that two plus two equals four. So they wouldn't deny that two plus two can equal four. They would say instead that two plus two can take other values and that it is a matter of uh, dominant hegemonic politics to say that two plus two equals four and that that excludes other values, which is a seemingly preposterous statement, but it is actually If you were to go all the way into woke theory and crystallize it, that's what you would get. That's like the crystal meth version of of woke theory. Could you find yourself making two plus two equal five work as a mathematician? No, I I actually cannot. Uh, I've wrecked myself for the last few days trying to think of even one non, like I can, there's one example where if you change some of the meanings around and you fuddle with stuff, it's true, but it's trivially true which means it doesn't, it doesn't tell you anything. So no, I don't think two plus two ever equals five. Um, but anyway, I, I made one of these woke minis for two plus two equals four. And I said, it's the white Western uh, equation that uh, is used to marginalize other possible values. So I put it on on the 8th of June. You know, it got some traction. It was funny. People laughed. My point with them, of course, was to get people to download them and share them saying, see, this is what they're, they actually think this. And so on the 5th of July, Nicole Hannah-Jones of the New York Times Magazine, who did the 1619 Project, tweeted something about, you know, objectivity and standards or whatever. You know, she's got an attitude in her tweets. It's one of her tweets. Somebody, as far as I know, that's just one of my followers, 
grabbed that two plus two equals four woke mini and stuck it underneath replied to her with the woke mini, which is what I wanted people to do with them in the first place. And it has my handle on it and she knows who I am. So is that conceptual James on the, on the thing? So she knows who I am. So she tweeted and said, using uh, Arabic numerals to, uh, you know, defend white Western culture or something like this is so damn classic. And so that was on the 5th of July. And then you can kind of track it. If you go look up two plus two equals four or two plus two equals five on Twitter, you can see that once she tweeted it, the whole cascade started of these kind of, you know, woke or semi-woke math people and math educators in particular scrambling. In fact, one woman tweets, how do we make two plus two equals five a true statement? basically, so I'll be wrong. So there's this huge cascade of them trying to defend the idea that two plus two can actually be different values. They should have picked a different number besides five, because five is a hard one to do. In fact, as I said, I don't think it's possible. What could you have done then? I would have chose 11. And that's possible? No, but there's a (laughs) trick. It's not possible. But 11 meaning one followed by another one, as we would say in, in, you know, to be very formal about the language, two concatenated ones in base three numerals rather than base 10 numerals means four. And so two plus two equals two concatenated ones in base three is a true statement. 